Roxana Saberi says, Iran is like a rainbow. I traveled around Iran for six years, but I never visited Tehran's notorious Evin prison until I was arrested one January day. I'm Roxana Saberi, an American journalist of Iranian and Japanese descent. One demonstrator was killed in the southern city of Shiraz. Many of these women feel their voices haven't been heard and they feel it doesn't make In 2003, I moved to Iran to work as a foreign correspondent. I also started writing a book there about Iranian society. Well, let's talk to the journalist Roxanne Saberi, somebody who spent time in an Iranian prison, a jail blast. My captors pressured me, like many other prisoners, to make the toughest decision of my life. If I falsely confessed I was a spy and agreed to spy for them, I would go free. If I didn't, I could stay in prison for 20 years or even get the death penalty. To stay sane in solitary confinement, I composed piano pieces by tapping my fingers on the wall. I began to realize the value of freedom, of universal human rights I had taken for granted before. These are basic rights many Iranians have pursued, oftentimes at great cost. Soon I met other women prisoners of conscience, including two members of Iran's minority Baha'i faith, a student activist, and civil rights activists. They taught me many universal, timeless lessons about courage, faith, and turning adversities into opportunities. Now I am free, but many others remain behind. I have no doubt that international attention helped set me free, and that's what Iranians in prison need today. We can be a voice for the voiceless. Together, we can make our voices echo behind the closed doors of Iran's regime and behind the bars of Iran's prisons.